guys, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to say hello before the video and let you know that I'm very glad you're here. I appreciate you so very much. So let's get busy with the jewelry and see what we've got, okay? Let's go check out the baubles. Hello, everyone. It's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I'm really glad you're here. I've had a lot of fun putting together more of the color coordinated sets of jewelry. So I hope you're gonna love them. Um, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I take the jewelry that I have unboxed, um, the things that haven't sold, and sometimes things that I've bought from thrift hauls, other places, and I put them together in matching jewelry sets. And I give them a number, and so far you have all really liked that. Now today I've got my phone set up further away from the table because I'm gonna try a new bust. Usually we have Buster Boy here. We named him Buster down on the table, but I'm trying to get further away from the table so I can use these taller pieces, okay? So let's get started first by me letting you know how to purchase any of the jewelry that you see. Just send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know the episode number that you're watching. Um, and a brief description of the jewelry, the bag number that you see, or many bags as you want, and the price given, okay? That would really help me very much. And also, I do answer my emails in the order that I get them. So go ahead and email me right away when you see a bag that you like. Make sure that you've watched the whole bag and that you agree with the price. And, I don't mind getting several emails per video. It's perfectly normal. And yeah, I don't mind that at all. Just don't want you to miss out. So I'm trying to get it so you don't see my TV over there. and You know, but it's just a TV, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'd like to invite you also to subscribe to my channel. Ding, ding, and click the bell. I do hope you'll subscribe. If you're a new subscriber, say hi to me in the comments. And if you've been a subscriber for a while, I wanna know that too. I've had so much fun reading your comments lately. Oh my gosh, I've heard from people that have been with me for the whole year I've been on YouTube and brand new subscribers too, and everyone in between, and I just love it. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so bag number one is called Don't Teal My Heart. <laughs> Okay, don't laugh at me, but that's, you know, as creative as I could get on this one. And what I do is I get the jewelry together on the side and I kind of sneak it around and, and show you one piece at a time. And the first piece we have is from Pilgrim. There's your mark. It's on a beautiful gold chain, gold tone chain. I do think it's gold plated just because it's got a beautiful color and sometimes after a while you can just tell um, and there's the name on the back. It is a heart piece, so cute. And look at all the extra hearts on it too. But on the front are these beautiful teal colored rhinestones. I just think it's so beautiful. Now there is two tiny ones missing right there where the bale is, and I do apologize for that, but I'm hoping it's not gonna be a big deal because when you're wearing it, the bale is really hanging right over the front of it and you can't see it so and i'll take a little bit off the price for that too but look at that i almost had to like forget the whole bag tonight because of those two rhinestones that i saw missing but i thought let me just keep going and see how it goes because most things are just perfect that i put on but okay and i have a couple of bracelets in that same beautiful teal color and one in this beautiful gold tone by limerick they are stretched I do love that color. I think it goes great. And then I have a pair of pierced earrings. They're kind of a little bit clipped together so I don't so they don't get separated. But they're on these really cool little wires. There we go. And they are beautiful blue crystals with a silver tone little bead in between. And this is how the wires go. I think these are called kidney wires. So you've got your pierced earrings and I love that color with it. Oh, look at that, it hooked right on the top. Nothing's falling yet. 
Let's see, I want you to get to see the whole thing. And then I'm adding another pair of earrings, these little golden hearts, because of course you have a heart. So I hope you love that set. That is set number one, called Don't Teal My Heart. The necklace is 14 to 18 inches, that's fully extended. The bracelets sit at seven inches, but remember they're stretch. And then you've got your two pairs of earrings. So for this bag, I know that this necklace goes for 45, but it does have a couple stones missing. And then you add all the extra pieces, and we'll say 32 on bag number one, okay? So that is bag number one with your beautiful stretch, pierced earrings, the little golden heart pierced as well, and the lovely teal necklace. And there you go. And again, the gold color is very, very beautiful. So that's bag one for 32. And bag number two is such a beauty. Oh, such a beauty. Okay, first, I have this gold tone, really rich color gold tone lobster clasp, gorgeous glass faux pearls, little gold uh, bead separators, and some real tiger's eye stone. I don't know that I've seen tiger's eye with pearls that much, but I haven't been in jewelry that long, but they are absolutely gorgeous together. And I love how the bead caps get bigger towards the bottom. See these little filigree gold caps? They're in between here, and then they get bigger towards the front. It's a gorgeous piece. Now this measures 18 inches on the necklace. So I'm adding, oh, about a four inch extender. It's a brand new extender. Also has a lobster clasp. So you're welcome to that. And here is the pearls and the real tiger's eye. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's in perfect condition. And let's see if I could find anything to match with this. I just don't know. It was so hard. Kidding, I have the matching bracelet. Isn't that awesome? I love it when I have the matching things and they actually go together with the set. It's fun matching them too, but wow. This is on a great stretch. It's a really good quality piece. And there's all your tiger's eye and your glass pearls. So there you go on that one. This sits at six and a half, but it's on a stretch. And then, let's see, what would I do for earrings? I just don't know. I have matching earrings that actually came with the set as well. This was a very exciting thing to find with all three pieces coming together. So there's your tiger's eye again and your faux pearls. The ear wires are very clean. I did clean them a lot and they have a little bit of like the gold wearing. I just want you to be aware of that, but they're super clean. So do know that. So there's your matching earring. So a full three piece set on that one. And then I, I'm adding this gold tone um, scarf, scarf clip. Yeah, that's right. And it's a beautiful little leaf. And if you tilt this this way, it does look quite beautiful on the necklace. Or you could just wear it as a scarf clip too. But I just loved it on there. And I like to add a little extra piece as well. So I hope you love that. I gave you all the measurements. I'll take this off. There's the back of it. Super nice and clean. So this is bag number two called Tigers and Pearls. And again, the necklace is 18 to 22, and you know how the bracelet goes with a stretch. So in goes your glass pearls and your tiger's eye, your earrings, your scarf clip, and your necklace with the extender. So I hope you love that. I think it's so gorgeous. Nice and heavy and really good quality. So that is bag number two. And I'm going to price this one at, I think for a set of all three pieces, plus the clip with real tiger's eye, I'm going to say 52 on that one. Okay, so bag number two, 
Tigers and Pearls. Oh my, for 52. Okay, let's see what we've got next. Oh, bag number three. Okay. Bag number three is called Silver and Stone. Okay. So for this necklace, I have a beautiful sodalite necklace and it is all sterling. The clasp is sterling. All the beads in between are all sterling silver in between all of this beautiful sodalite. We did test them together on a video that I did prior and every little last bead down to this tiny one are all solid sterling silver. So that's a beautiful piece. It's on a toggle clasp. And the necklace measures 16 inches. And it has this beautiful, you know, pendant extra piece here, which I love. And the sodalite is just gorgeous. So there's that one. Then I have this bracelet. It didn't come with it, but it's a really good match. It has sodalite all around. And I think these are acrylic, but they're a nice blue color. But the rest of it is all gemstone and has this lovely silver tone extra little charm on it. So love that together. I think it's beautiful. And the bracelet sits at seven inches, but again, it is a stretch. Then for earrings, I have these silver tone and sodalite. I tested them and they are sodalite as well. And they're pierced earrings. So I just love that. I thought it was so cute together. I hope you love it too. So we have all sterling on this set and gemstones. I'm sorry, the earrings aren't sterling, but they are silver tone. So that's bag number three. And that's why I called it silver and stone. And in goes your stretch bracelet of sodalite, your pierced earrings with sodalite as well. I did try to find some clip-on earrings because I usually add a pair of clip-ons and a pair of pierced, but there really aren't any clip-ons in sodalite stone. You know, it's just not a thing that much anyway. So I'll give you one more look at these gorgeous stones and the sterling silver and all their beautifulness. And in goes your necklace. So if you love any of these bags, if you love bag number three, just let me know. And I will price this one at 49 for sterling silver and sodalite. So I hope you love that price and all of that stone for bag three. So far it's working out all right with our, our new busty here. Really appreciate that. Okay, Janet, Janet or Janice sent me that months ago. I think it's Janice, so thank you for that. I'm finally getting to use it, how about that? So bag number four is called Colors Are Fun. And I created this bag because last week I showed a very similar necklace and several of you wrote to me about it. And here it is, it's not the exact one, but it's just like it. It is a fabric beaded necklace in all of its glorious colors. And I had one in my Rich Box Poor Box series last week, and it had some threads coming out, so I put it in a craft bag. And several of you wrote to me and asked if you could have that necklace, but it went in the craft bag. And then I found this one that's in much better condition. There's nothing unraveling, and the color scheme is the same. So I thought I'd make a jewelry bag of it. And it does have the gold tone beads in between. So you've got these rich red colors, emerald green, white, black. See the two different reds, isn't that pretty? Two different purples. The colors are gorgeous. On and on they go. They even has silver and gray and a yellowish tone. So it's a beauty. It's an over the head piece. I'll just double it so you can see it real well on the bust. And it measures 28 inches long. Maybe that's a little too much. Hmm. Probably going to fall if I do that. Okay, we'll leave it like that. 
and you know what's happening, but I'm just hanging it there. Okay, so 28 inch necklace. And to go with that, there's a lot of colors there, but I thought these earrings would be great. They have the green, red, blue, yellow on them, and they just look good with it. So I'm adding these pierced earrings, and these are from my friend Betty when she sent me friend mail, and I'm so happy to finally get to use those beautiful earrings. Hope you can see them okay, let's see. All right, and then I'm adding this bracelet, which has a lot of colors in it as well. I never did find out what material this bracelet is, but it's a beauty, and it is eight inches, and look at all that. Just layers of colors that were put together. I really like that. And I love all the colors together. So let's just hope he doesn't fall off here. There's some little like clippy things on the back. We'll just have to see how this goes. Okay, lift this up here maybe. Okay, that's good. And then I'm adding a pair of clip-ons. And they are, look at that red, isn't that beautiful? I wanted to add a red that was in between the two kind of reds. And I think we hit it right out of the park with this one. So there's your red clip-on earrings and your other colorful ones. That's giving like a shine, but that's a solid yellow. There we go. So red clip-ons. This is a new experience to see what's going to fit up here. And okay, they're all falling. And your bracelet. And I'm also adding this beautiful brooch. Three roses, purple, pink, and yellow. There's no marks on the back, but it's a beauty. And I thought it looked really beautiful with the necklace. So I wouldn't have thought of making a jewelry bag out of this necklace, but so many of you really did love it. So that was so fun to do. So here you go. Your colorful necklace with the gold tone beads in between, and they're in great shape, by the way. And that is 28 inches. Then you have your super adorable clip ons and that perfect red. Your multicolor sort of door knocker earrings with all those colors. White enamel on the background, beautiful. And then we have your gorgeous brooch. And the lovely bracelet. So I'm hoping that you love bag number four. And all of you that love that necklace, you'll probably be emailing me for this bag. I hope so. So bag number four is called Colors Are Fun. And I am going to say 38 on this one. Okay? So that's about five pieces in this one, I think. And there you go. Bag number four. Colors Are Fun. 438. Okay, bag number five. I hope you're sitting down because it's a beauty. It really is. For bag number five, I have named Rice is Nice. Okay? Rice is nice. Now, it's going to take me just a little second to set this up. And what I have is trying to be sneaky so I can bring it up and surprise you. Okay. Oh, they're so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I knew this would happen when I start recording, but that's okay. Give me one second and I will have it. Okie dokie. Here they are. These are genuine rice pearls. They are four separate strands. You've got a peachy pink, very pearlescent two strands here. And then these two strands have just about every color. They're more on the brown and rose gold, not rose gold, rose tone colors. So there's four strands of them and they are 32 inches long. And I'm just going to double them up here so you can see how they look on the neck. And they're all genuine real rice pearls. So you can wear them doubled like this, or you can wear them 32 inches long. But they are all real, and they're beautiful. I'll let you see them all close up like this. All those beautiful tones. So there's that four necklaces. And 
then I thought these earrings were just great. It's a pair of clip-ons, and of course they are faux pearls, but they do match the colors, I think, very lovely. And that's that pair. Gold tone in super good shape. I'm wondering if I could just clip these right here. I don't like to take up too much time, but and I do measure everything ahead of time, but yeah, that looks good. Okay, that was easy. So that's my earrings. And then the bracelet is also a genuine pearl bracelet. It's in the more silver tones that the necklace is in, but they are definitely real and they're gorgeous. And then they have this hematite bead on the front. It's another beautiful piece. It is on a stretch, but on a very nice one. So there's your silver tone real pearl bracelet to match. It's sitting at a six and a half, but again, it's a stretch. And then for pierced earrings, I have these gorgeous darker faux pearl with a little yellow glass faceted bead, little danglies on some silver tone wires. And just look at that. I love that little yellow glass faceted bead as well just kind of goes with all the gold tone and all those great colors. So I hope you love those. That's pretty good. They're staying, but now I'm going to bring it up. Super. You know what I'm doing too. I'm getting ready for live sales by doing all this. So that's a good practice. And then I'm adding this scarf clip. It is a beautiful leaf. It looks so real. And that's the back, and it's just a beautiful gold, copper, bronzy color. And you can wear this right on the pearls. You can wear it this way. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Oh, I love that. Or you can wear it like half of the pearls a little bit longer and wear it down further, you know what I'm saying. But oh my goodness, that color of that metal and that leaf just really blew me away. So I hope you love it too. So that's bag number five. Rice is nice. It is, isn't it? Rice pearls are very nice. So in goes your pierced earrings, beautiful colors, your genuine pearl bracelet, your adorable clip-ons with the same color scheme, a super neat scarf clip and your four strands of rice pearls. Now you can wear just two of these. You can wear three, you can wear one, however you want to wear these. They are all separate so you can do that however you'd like. And here they are all up close. So there you go on bag number five. Rice is nice and a real pearl bracelet and the necklaces. I'm going to say hmm, we'll do 58 on this set, okay? Rice is nice for 58. Okay, hope you love all those matches and that you don't have to run around and get things at a store because they're all matched for you. So, loving that, loving that. Okay, we're running into bag number six now. And I'm gonna get this one a little bit ready as well. And bag number six is called Rice Twice is Even Better. Okay, so we had Rice is Nice, bag five. Rice Twice is Even Better. It's a tongue twister, I know. But that's the name of it, and you're gonna see why in just a second. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have so much fun naming these bags by myself. I'm sitting here laughing at myself. So here comes the next necklace. And this one is also genuine rice pearls. And it is more of a champagne pink, beautiful color scheme. And this one is put together on a sterling silver clasp. Now, this necklace is the same exact length as the other set right here. So you could actually wear all of these together if you got both bags because they're exactly the same 
length. I think someone probably had them all together. But I took them apart because I wanted to do the different color schemes. So this is all sterling silver on the clasp. And look at these pearls. They're just so beautiful. And again, 32 inches. And there's four strands. And I wish I could take that out of the bag and show them all together because they do look so beautiful. But I think you get the idea. Okay, so this one is a piece already put together. And again, you can wear it long or you can... Maybe we'll do this one like, like that. You can wear it however you want, of course. 32 inches in sterling silver. And then for this one, I've gone with gold tone. And I have these gold tone pierced earrings with real little rice pearls on them. They are pierced. There's the backs. And yeah, they have a little gold tone chain and some real little tiny rice pearls. So I love that. I looked through everything I had to find rice pearls, and that was the only pair I had. And then I'm adding these gold tone Avon earrings. I just like that swoopy design, the gold tone theme that's going with this set. And again, they are from Avon. Let me see if it's easy to just put this on here, because this is all new using this other bust. I'll get better at it. Okay, all right, there you go. I think that does show them pretty well. And then I'm adding these beautiful soft gold tone bangles. They don't have any texture. They're just nice and simple and smooth and quite beautiful. So I like that with that as well. Very, very nice with the gold. And then, of course, I'm going to add a scarf clip. And I have this double heart scarf clip. There's the back. And again, you can wear it as a scarf clip. Or you can wear it as a pendant on your pearls. I'll show you what it looks like on these. You just always want to go really easy. Make sure that nothing is pinching. If it closes very comfortably on there, like these scarf clips do, then you're perfectly fine. So there you go with the necklace with the beautiful scarf clip on it as well. So I hope you love that, the gold tone and the rose color and real pearls again. So rice twice is even better as bag six. And for this one, I will do go a little less because there's not um, a pearl bracelet. So on this one, we'll say 51, okay? Rise twice, even better, 51. And you've got three gold tone bracelets that are eight inches, by the way. Your genuine rice pearl earrings, your Avon swoopy swirlies that look really good with the scarf clip, by the way. Then your lovely scarf clip, and you just always want to go careful around your jewelry, and you know that. And this beautiful rice pearl on a sterling silver clasp. Nice vintage piece, well put together. And don't you just love the way pearls feel? They just are nice and cold and pretty. So that's bag six for 51. Okay, we are moving along. Bag number seven. Is some of you are going to really love this because I have a lot of you that love this style. So number seven is called Best Brand Blue. And we will start this one with the Best Brand. It's a vintage Best Brand bracelet. And it's in this faux turquoise. They did a great job making it look like real turquoise. Isn't that amazing? It does have a toggle clasp. And it's a big silver plated bracelet and it's signed best inside right there and boy I'll tell you if you take a silver polish rag and you just buff it a teeny bit it really comes up shiny I just didn't want to ruin the patina in case some of you like it a little bit more patina I cleaned it up a little bit but I'm going to leave the rest of the shininess up to you to what you desire so this is the bracelet 
and it measures seven and a half on a toggle. And let's see, we'll put that there. And then I have the matching earrings that are also from Best. And again, they are nice, heavily silver plated. You can polish them up pretty well. They're signed inside right there. So there's the matching earrings. And then I have this necklace that looks a lot like it. It's not a Best brand, so it's not a three-piece set, but it matches pretty well. I did like it together. It has the same type of side design and this lovely tassel at the end. And it's on a silver tone chain, a nice long chain. Let's see, I'll double it just so you can get a look at it. Or maybe I'll just have to hold it here a minute. So here's the necklace. And it would hang like that. Tassel's pretty long. And the necklace measures 30 to 33 inches. So nice long piece. And you've got the necklace, the bracelet, and the earrings. And again, I wasn't going to try to add anything else to this because you really can't. It's just what it is. It's really pretty. So there's your super long necklace. And your number seven bag called Best Brand Blue. So nice long piece, beautiful tassel. Really great quality bracelet. I mean, wow. It looks so much like the Taxico one that I sold a while back. Beautiful and best matching earrings. That's bag seven, and I will say we'll do 39 on that set, okay? Bag seven for 39. Okay, they're piling up here. And I'll just take a second to remind you, or if you're just dropping in for the first time, if you see anything you like, email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the episode number, a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price given, okay? And I do answer your emails in the order that they come, so send it as soon as you'd like, and I will answer them. Um, if sometimes if I don't get to the emails until later at night, please don't worry. It's not that you didn't get the items, it's just that I haven't even started answering them yet. I'm usually answering people in the comments and having a real lot of fun there. So that's that info. Thank you for letting me share that. And bag number eight is called Smoky Rivoli. Smoky Rivoli. This is so, oh my gosh, wait till you see this one. So this is a silver tone chain. I do think maybe even rhodium plated. It just has that gorgeous look to it. And look at the Rivoli crystals. Oh my gosh, right? Pink, smoky, and clear. And just so much sparkle. Absolutely gorgeous. Rivoli is when the stone is turned with the pointy part upwards. And it just gives a beautiful shine. I wish this had a maker on it because I would love to know where the crystals are from. They sure do look very Swarovski, but I can't say that because there's no mark on it. But wow, isn't it beautiful? And like I said, the back, look at that. It really looks rhodium plated. I'm not an expert, I don't know. But from what I see, it does look it. But look at that necklace, oh my gosh. So stunning. And of course you can adjust it in the back because it has that extender. So you can wear it up higher or lower. It is 20 inches fully extended. So just so much sparkle. I was just so tickled when I saw that piece. And how did I get to match this one? It was a tough one. But I have the actual bracelet. Woo! It's the actual bracelet that comes with the set, and it has the same smoky, pink, and clear Rivoli stones. Same chain, and look at all that beautiful, maybe rhodium plating. And also, what's great about this piece is the chain, and that you can clasp it anywhere from seven inches to eight. 
So that'll fit just about everyone. And look at that sparkle. I'm so excited about this set. It's absolutely gorgeous. And for earrings, I have the matching earrings too. They are Rivoli and they have that beautiful plating again. And they are the same pink because they came with the set. So I can't tell you how excited I was to find another full set of jewelry. So that's a full purer and absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. And as usual, I'm gonna add a little brooch. I do love this little silver tone piece. Swirly, a little bead ball in the middle. And it's got a beautiful little clasp on the back. It's in great shape. I just put it on the paper so it protects the other jewelry. And there's your little silver tone. I'm not sure if you want to wear it on your chain, but you probably could. It's lovely. Really lovely. So that is bag number eight called Smoky Rivoli. And it is a real three-piece set. There's your bracelet. Oh, it's, isn't it so fun to see that sparkle? Oh my goodness, my heart is just going thump, thump. Beautiful pink Rivoli. And what a great length on the necklace. I mean, it's not too short. It's got that great extender, nice and big with that nice lobster clasp. And again, it's from, you know, it can go from 16 to 20 inches. Love it, just love those choices. So in goes your necklace and your beautiful little brooch. So that's bag eight, Smoky Rivoli. And this one I am gonna price up a bit. It's just stunning. Oh, I wish I knew who made it. I'm gonna say, hmm, I'm gonna do 62 on this one for the three pieces and the brooch. And you'll let me know if you love it. You'll grab it right up. And if not, you'll let me know that too because it won't disappear. So bag number eight, Smoky Rivoli for 62. Okay, what have I got next? Ooh, this is a nice one. I've had this necklace for quite a while. I've been saying that lately because I have had these things for quite a while and it takes a while to match everything. So it's a beauty though. It's from Talbot's and it's on a gold tone chain, perfect condition. I don't think it's ever been worn. And there's your full Talbot's name on there. And that lovely, you know, little sign, little I'm sorry, little maker's mark on there as well. So gold tone chain, and then it has these gorgeous crystal beads, all gold beads in between, a lovely dark blue color faceted bead and pearls. So it has all three of those strands, and then it comes down to this gorgeous necklace. This is all glass, it does look like real genuine stone. They did a great job. It looks like quartz, doesn't it? But it does test as glass. And it's so pretty with the pearls and the, the all the faceted glass. I'm going to have to clasp this a little bit closer. It's going to help us to see it better on the, on the neck. So there you go. That's how it hangs. Maybe I'll have to hold it up a bit. So I still need to go with my taller neck stand and maybe get a different kind of camera that goes back further. But there it is. Pearls, faceted glass, sparkly faceted on this too. I'm sorry, this is acrylic right here. But the pearls are glass, acrylic, and these are acrylic. And the rest of it's glass. So just a beautiful Talbot's piece. Moody is stuck on back there. And this is glass as well in the middle. Really looks like stone. Okay, and to go with this, I have these pierced earrings. Oh, they're just perfect. They have some nice deep blue beads, faceted glass, gold tone, and a little bit of probably opaline glass. Just thought they really looked great. I mean, just really great. And then I'm putting these two bangles are a little bit different textures, but I do love the gold tone on them. 
and I like the texture. I think it goes nicely. And they are a size eight. So there's your gold tone bracelets. And of course, a pair of pearl stud earrings that are in the same color range as the necklace because that's important to match the pearls as well. And they're on gold tone posts. So there's your pearl earrings if you wanted to tone things down a little or if you have double piercings that would look great together. So I hope you love that match. And oh, I didn't tell you, I called that one bag number nine, pink and blue. The necklace is 22 inches long. The bangles are eight and one of them is eight and a quarter. And that's a Talbot's necklace, all glass. Okay, and for this one, I will say $48. So pink and blue, Talbot set, two gold bangles, your nice big hoops, and by the way, these have a gold stud on the top too, so it's really cute. And those nice backs to keep them flat on the ears, your lovely pearl studs, and this incredible Talbot's, all glass. Okay, oh, I wanna show you the back too. So there's the back, great shape, all gold tone. And it's a beauty. I'm really excited to find things to match it now. So that's bag number nine for 48, pink and blue. Okay. It's so nice out today. It's staying lighter longer, so that's a help when you're recording. Now we have bag number 10, and I called it Austria's Charm. And this piece is a very old Austria crystal necklace. And look at the adorable little clasp that's on it. Isn't that sweet? And there's your Austria. Let me see, it seems to have two words on it. Let me see what the other one is. I haven't even had my loop the whole time. Okay, it says made, made in Austria. So that's your clasp. What's interesting about this necklace is it has the, that famous Austria black faceted glass beads right here. And then in between are these sort of matte finish beads that are acrylic. So you have the crystal and then acrylic. And can you see how it's off and on with the shiny and then the more matte finish? Here, I'll line them up together so you can see what I mean. So you've got the shiny and the matte, the shiny and the matte, all through the whole necklace. It's all hand knotted and it is made in Austria with that beautiful crystal. It's a really long piece at 42 inches and just an adorable clasp on it. So let me double it up a bit or maybe triple so you can see what it looks like on the neck. And I'm gonna to try to get that clasp to be out in the front because I think it's so cute to wear the clasp as sort of a, like a, like a pendant, that's what I'm trying to say. So there you go, we'll have to see how this is gonna work out. but. Cute little clasp, and you know, you can wear it longer or just doubled twice, because I think that's kind of a bit short. Although you could wear it three times around. And then for a bracelet, the same thing. This is all crystal glass on the bracelet. And I think someone might have taken a lovely old clasp and made this bracelet, but I love it. It's got the gold tone again, and those crystals are just stunning. So there's your bracelet. It does sit at six and a half inches, but it's on a stretch and it's on a really good one. So cute, isn't that such a cute bracelet? And then to go with that, I have for pierced earrings, black faceted glass and gold tone again. And they are sort of almost all the way hoops. They look super, super good with that. So there's your pierced earrings. And then for clip-ons, I've got these black and gold earrings. 
that I thought looked great. They also have a round shape and they just look really cute. Whoops, I'm holding them upside down, but it doesn't matter because they kind of go the same way. Oh, I'm wondering if that's like Bakelite or something. So there's the clip-ons. This is fun being able to clip them right here like this. So there's your earrings. And then, see now I have to go back and redo the necklace because the other piece that I have needs to be seen. Let's see. Thanks for being patient with me tonight while I'm trying out my new my new system. We'll see how it goes. You can all let me know what you think. There. So I have a gold tone scarf clip again. These are just perfect to clip onto any necklace. They're very gentle. They have a lot of room in between, see? So they don't really harm the necklace, but you always wanna make sure not force anything down. But look at that, is that not stunning? You could wear the scarf clip on there together or down lower on the bottom, however you wish, or wear it as a scarf clip too. But there's your signed Austria necklace. That's pretty unusual. And in goes your lovely gold tone scarf clip. Super cool vintage bracelet, crystal. Your cutie clip-ons that have gold tone as well. There's the back. And these perfect earrings. I love these with it. And they are glass as well. And then the super long, gorgeous Austria crystal necklace with the very interesting matte and shiny beads. So there you go with that piece. We'll take a look one more time at your clasp. So cute, whoops, this way. And in the bag it goes. So that's bag number 10, Austria's Charm. Vintage necklaces like that are getting harder to find. I'm so, so excited when I find them. And for this set, I will say, let's do an even 50, okay? Super long, 42 inches. You can wear it three times around or two. And you've got your sets of earrings and your scarf clip. So that's bag 10, Austria's Charm. Okay, bag 11, oh my, my. Now I have used this name before on jewelry bags, on a jewelry bag but I reserve the right to use it again, okay? Because you'll see why. But bag number 11 is called Romancing the Stones. All right, so let me set this one up for you. Oh my goodness, I think this is gonna be super popular. I do hope so, because I try to make a little bit of everything for everyone and also appreciate the good quality pieces. So we have a gold tone diamond cut rope chain. Really nice condition. I don't see any wear on it at all. It's a hefty rope chain and it's nice and long. It is 30 inches long. And look at the pendant at the bottom of it. Is that not beautiful? This is all crystal. They, I think you can wear it either way. They are just stunning. Try to get it close so you can see how they did it. But they're all just sort of like connected together in a checkerboard manner and they're beautiful. And then look at the chains. And then they have these little crystals at the bottom again. So adorable. So some of them are just chains and some of them have the crystals at the end so they don't overdo it. But wow, I thought that was gorgeous on a big rope chain like that. It's really a heavy duty, beautiful gold tone chain. And that pendant is so stunning. Beautiful. I think you could wear that for casual and for dressy. To me, that's just both. And oh my goodness, just wow. Someone asked me how I sell the pieces and I said, I don't know. <laughs> it's not easy letting them go. It really isn't. And with this, look at the bracelet. Isn't that so romantic? It's a gold tone bracelet with 
crystals on it. They are awesome and sparkly as well. They have larger ones and whoops, and smaller um, alternating. And then there's all this sort of textured gold tone stuff going on. Beautiful bangle. Very romantic looking. I thought it was great with this set. It is a size eight on the bangle. So I'll lean that down there next to our other buddies. And then these earrings are so cute. I love these. These are pierced earrings, again, faceted glass. And look at the little disco balls, all encrusted with crystals, and then a gold bead ball and a pearl. So I just love those with that set. I think they look perfect. I'm wondering, let's see, can I just hook that there? Nope. It probably needs like something clipped behind. But I'm gonna try it one more time. And just give it a little tug. No, I don't want to bend the earrings. Oh, they're staying for right now. But you can't really see how they go. There they go. Well, you saw them close up. They're beautiful. They really do go nice. And then I'm adding these. These are incredible. They're a little bit like an oval shape. Crystal earrings. Again, I wish I knew the maker. They're on gold tone, you know, posts. And I just thought they were extra sparkly, a good quality, and they really deserve that set. So I put the less, you know, you can go more fancy or you can go with the little studs. So that is bag 11, Romancing the Stones. Beautiful bangle. It is hefty. The inside is great. Super good condition on this one. And these super cool earrings. I really hate to see these go. They're so cute. And look at the fastening on the glass. They're very well done. Very well done. And just those little disco balls are too cute. And then, of course, the stud earrings. And this gorgeous gold tone rope necklace. There's sometimes that I'm getting really close to the microphone. I hope I'm not yelling in the microphone. And here is your necklace again, one more time. Super long and just in great shape. I hope you can see them close up and the faceting and the work they did is just beautiful. And I'm so happy to offer really beautiful things. All right, Romancing the Stones. What am I gonna price this at? I really never know what I'm gonna price something at until I just get out here. They're all such nice sets. Um, this one, I'm gonna say, oh, I'll do 48 on this one, okay? Long, substantial diamond rope chain and all of that. I don't wanna repeat again. Someone really criticized me a couple weeks ago and they said, Oh, they said so many mean things, but they said that I repeat my... No, I was going too slow, and that I repeated something. And they said, especially on your jewelry bags, and I was like, oh, okay, well, thank you for letting me know that. I'll try not to repeat myself so much. I just think reminding you of what's in the bag is fun, and, and yeah, they can go on to another channel, right? That's okay. We all have different likes and different things. Bag number 12 is called Premier Does It Again, and they really do. Premier Designs just has beautiful pieces. This one is no exception. It is so beautiful. So here's the extender. I think they're silver plated, and this really is an extender because you've got this piece here and it is already on there as an extender. So I'll show you what I'm thinking because it's a really long 40 inch necklace and it's beautiful. It's got these green colors, these pearlescent pieces that have pinks and greens and look at these medallion type silver pieces and the links and more of the purple. This one is a little bit lighter and that one's more purple and just so beautiful. What a great necklace, nice and long. So it's got these greens and purples and pink colors, and it's 40 inches long. It doesn't really need an extender on it. 
I'm thinking maybe we'll just take that off because it's such a long necklace already. But there's your Premier Designs name. And let me see what it would measure without it because I didn't realize that was a was an extender. It measures 36 inches. And let's see, oops, what it looks like on the neck. I love those nice large ovals. So you can wear it at the full length or of course double it. And look at that, oh my gosh. Premier Designs does it again, don't they? They just had beautiful things and so well made. And this one has Premier Designs on it. This is another one I have, but it's not the right color. So I thought I'd put a Premier Design extender with it, but it's not the right color. So we'll leave that off and I'll add it to another piece that you guys really need it on. And with this necklace, I have these gorgeous seed bead hoop earrings and they're on these wires and they just have all these beautiful peacock color uh, glass seed pearls on them I mean seed beads and the other side does not so that's how they look the colors fantastic because it's picking up the the pinks and the greens and all of that so I love that and then I'm adding these other pierced earrings that are lightly textured silver tone fantastic condition and they're picking up the same round shape as the medallions so i love those with it and i have this little bracelet that is faceted glass it's on a toggle clasp silver tone again and beautiful glass beads on this piece i love that purple so i thought it went really great with this and the Premier Design set. And let's see, what numbers did I write down? So we're gonna change that 40 to 36. The bracelet is six and three quarter inches, toggle clasp. And this is called Premier Does It Again. Gorgeous earrings, lovely bracelet, nice cold glass, your pierced earrings. And this super beautiful piece. Really gorgeous. Love how they just made that texture on there. And they've got the chains wrapping around. What a great company. So in goes that piece. Premier does it again. And for this set, I will say $33. Okay. It's bag number 12. So, so far, so good with our new Buster's cousin, I guess you could call him. Now, bag 13. We're going to need some room for this one. It's called Go Big or Go Home. Okay? Now, this piece is, I don't know what else to tell you. Let me just try to give you a sound of it. Can you hear that? Here is the necklace. It is made of these frosty, gorgeous teal color glass beads. So stunning. And it goes on. Look at the shape of the beads. Are they not like glowing, beautiful? So pretty. On and on and on. And then it ends. Oop, let me just get. It was like a little fuzz on it. It ruined my crescendo, you little fuzz. And then at the end is this beautiful pendant. Isn't that so pretty? So this is a go big or go home piece for sure. Look at all that glass. I will, should I double or triple? I mean, this is a biggie. Let's see what it looks like doubled. It is that long. Isn't that so beautiful? And there's your pendant, and it does slide around, so you can, does it slide around? It does slide around, not like terribly easily, so you gotta be careful. Or you can just, you know, move it this way. 
all glass beads so beautiful that teal color and I just love that frostiness it just really adds a lot to it it's 46 inches so you could wrap it again and have like a choker look 46 inch necklace gorgeous pendant and to go with that I have this beautiful bracelet in the same colors love those different variations I think it helps to match with the necklace with the different colors see because it's picking up all the different colors in the pendant so this is a beautiful glass bracelet sitting at seven inches but it's on a stretch a really it's on a good stretch a little tight but it's on a good one and there's your bracelet and then i have these glass earrings they are art glass and they're beautiful a soft blue they are clear and then they have this wrapped around just really cool artwork on those earrings and i like that color with it too i think they go great and they are on silver tone wires in really, really great shape. So I will try to catch that up there. I hope it stays. Yes, okay. And I have another pair of earrings. Aren't these cute? They're like a little cluster earring. They're lever backs. And they have a little bit of different shade blue. So you could go with any one of them. So this is such a stunner. Go big or go home. You have your silver tone lever backs, cute little, see how they're done on the little pins? Just so cute. And then your other earrings on the wires, awesome art glass. Your glass, again, everything is glass in this set. Bracelet, this awesome necklace. And I am gonna show it to you because it's important that you know all the ways this can look. I'm going to show it to you wrapped a third time. So you can really see what it looks like all the way as a, like a choker piece. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, right? I am so excited about this bag number 13. Go big or go home. All glass, every piece. And you can just wear this in so many different ways. So, wow, I'm gonna try to turn it one more time, get it in the bag. Oh yes, I love the flexibility of it too. That really tells me a lot when a necklace is flexible and good quality and it's not all stiff, you know? So there is bag 13, it's fitting right in there. Look at that, with the other pieces. I think this is really cool with the glass and special. Go big or go home. I'm going to price it up at, mm, let's do 62 on this one and see what you think. Okay, so that's bag 13. And I am done with the bags for now. So I'm going to see about turning the camera down a little bit and showing you some extra pieces. I have some things that people have asked for during the week. And just some other things. So we'll try that. All right. So now is when you would get time stamps and you would explain the jewelry to me and give me a time stamp of when the pieces show. Okay. So this week, my friend Frida asked about a Japan vintage necklace and it was already sold. So I told her that I would bring another one on and show it to her during this video. So Frida, you have first dibs on this but absolutely no pressure. If you don't like it, don't feel like you have to buy it at all because it's available to others after you, okay? So there's your Japan mark. It is a faux pearl necklace like the other one, but it has faux pearls of a creamy, like a vanilla color and these peachy, yellow sort of peachy beads in between. And it is a three tier. It has silver tone filigree bead caps. It is so beautiful. I was gonna make a matching bag out of it tonight, but you wanted the one that was in the rich box, poor box, and it sold. So this is the other one that I have. If you like it, you're welcome to it for 22, just like I priced the others. And wow, these are really getting worn by everyone right now. Pretty popular. 
It's in great shape and it probably measures the same as all the others. 16, 18, probably 20 hanging down here. But, so that is that beautiful piece, okay? So Frida has first dibs and if she's not loving it, then someone else gets to purchase it. So just send me an email if you like it and I'll let you know if she took it or not, okay? Then I have someone named Marie that wants to see some of my um, my Larimar rings. And a lot of you have been asking for them again. And I forgot to show you my new ring. Oh my gosh, look at this ring. I can't even believe how beautiful it is. I got this from the jewelry nurse. She does auctions every weekend. And I actually bought it from her partner named Roberta and they call her Ro on the channel. So Cindy and Ro, thank you for all you do. And Ro, thank you for this gorgeous ring. I'm so, so happy with it. I love it so much. I've wanted one of these for a long time and I am so, so happy, so happy. I can't even believe it. So now I get to give up one of my Larimar rings because I only have so many fingers and I do love this one. So I am gonna let this one go, I hate to do it, but this is a really big stone. I usually wear it on the middle finger and it's a gorgeous Larimar. And this is all part of the Larimar stone. It does have these other colors in it. If you look at the matrix of the stone online, you'll see those colors in it. And they all look different. They all have their own looks to them. Of course, it's sterling silver, all tested and I've been enjoying this ring for a couple months now. Now, Marie, I think your fingers are a bit smaller than these are gonna be, but I told you I would show them. This is just under an eight and give you first dibs and then whoever, you know, if you don't want it, the others can buy it. So this is almost an eight, Larimar ring, pretty big, huge stone. For those that don't know, Larimar is only mined in the Dominican Republic and it's not allowed to be mined anymore. So it's hard to find these. I do have a Larimar bracelet that I'm hard pressed to find another one ever again. And I've got this Larimar ring, which I always say looks like Jesus coming out of the sky. And this is a beautiful piece too. So that's the size. And on this one, I'm gonna say 52, okay? So $52 for that Larimar. And do price them because they are hard to find and they're getting harder to find. Just under an eight on that Larimar ring. Okay, I do have a couple more. Actually, I have a lot more rings that I can show. So I wanna move this necklace over and I don't think we need this right now. And I just pause the camera for a minute to take everything out of the bag so you don't have to listen to that. So this is a gorgeous turquoise inlay dome style ring. And this one is five and three quarters. So Marie, I know you said that you wanted something about a size six. I don't know if this is too small for you, but I told you I'd show you on the video. There's the marking inside. And this does say 925CW and it is called a Navajo chip turquoise inlay dome ring at a five and three quarters. Really pretty piece. And you can see the, the turquoise right through. So this one is, I'm selling this one for $25, okay? So there's that piece. Now to get back to the Larimar, I have another Larimar ring with the cute little round piece. It actually goes pretty well with this bracelet, but I think this one is just in between sizes for me, so it doesn't fit me just right, but I love it, love it, love it. I hate to let it go. Sterling silver, it's seven and a quarter on the size. And it's a beautiful stone. This is, um, there is a mark inside that's hard to see, but it does test sterling. So gorgeous little Larimar, let's see, beautiful color, and I'll say 38 on this one, okay? 
again, hard to find. And then I have this absolute stunner, Larimar ring again, with this beautiful flower shape on it. This is all sterling silver. It's a hunky baby. It's kind of open work a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, that's not open work. That's just shining, okay. So sorry about that, that's a shine catching on there, apologize. And it's open work on the top, yeah. It's a nice big ring. It's, if you see it next to my other one, it's a pretty good size. And again, a beautiful stone, lots of sterling on this one. And this is a perfect size eight. Now, it is a little bit of a wide band, so you wanna come up if you wear a size seven and a half, let's see, how do you do it? <laughs> if you wear, you need to go up a little bit because this will fit you a little smaller than usual. That's what I'm trying to say. So here's another Larimar. This is a biggie with a lot of sterling. And I'm going to say 67 on this piece, okay? Size eight, 67 on the Larimar. This one, I think, Marie, is your size this one, oh wait a minute, I'm sorry. Let me size it right now. But this has, oh my gosh, turquoise, um, lapis lazuli, it has um, malachite, all the stones that are important in um, Native American jewelry, all inlaid in there. And look at the design of this ring, it's so beautiful. Let me just measure it because I thought it was smaller. This one measures um, about eight and a quarter. Not quite eight and a half, but eight and a quarter. And it's a beauty, absolutely stunning. And I'll say 55 on this piece. Now this is a ruby, oh, big ruby and all those marcasites. Isn't that gorgeous? I just about gasped when I saw that. Look how pink it is. And this, of course, is sterling. Let's see what I have written down about this. Well, let's just get this pussy over here and test it because I have a few things written down about when I tested it. So, let's see. Ruby. Oops show you where it is on the machine. It is up here, ruby and sapphire, right there. Okay. Hi, Miss Prissy. <laughs> so cute. So I will test the ring and see what happens. And it's going right to the ruby. So we have a beautiful ruby and marcasite ring. It is a stunner. I wish I could tell you like how many carats that is. But I don't have any way of measuring that. Um, and it is important that you know how big the stone is, especially with a ruby. So maybe I can like measure in these millimeters. Let's try that. So if I go this way, that's about eight or nine millimeters. Does that help? And then if I go this way, it's about six millimeters. So I hope that's helpful. This is a beauty. I've been meaning to bring this out like every video, but I just run out of time. There's the inside. I tested it again, all sterling. And this one is an, a seven, a size seven. So ruby marcasite ring at a seven. And I don't even know what to price this at. Guess I will say 65 on this, and you will let me know. This, so this is for anybody. The, any rings that are not the Larimar rings are for anyone to purchase. Um, Marie asked me specifically for the Larimar, so I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Now this is a turquoise ring. Oh my gosh, beautiful, like Sleeping Beauty color. I don't know which mine things come from. It's got that lovely stamp on the side. This is a six and a half, just a tiny bit too small for me, so I'm passing this along. Sterling silver. 
and the mark inside is from that trading post. So this is one of those trading post pieces. And again, it's a six and a half, and I will say, I'll do 45 on this sweet little ring. Okay, so six and a half. I think that is your size, Marie, but it's not a Larimar. Then I have this little tiny sterling silver, is that a Cladaw or something? It might be. It's really old and really tiny. Yeah, it's just very old. Super little. I don't know if it's a pinky ring or what, but it is a size 5. And I'll just say 15 on that piece. Maybe I have it upside down. I'm sorry. But there's that one. And then I have this bypass ring, which means you can adjust it a little. Change the size, and it's two dolphins, sterling silver again, marked inside, and it is sitting at a six right now. But again, you can squeeze it tighter or make it bigger, and I'll say 16 on that piece. We're getting some sterling rings out tonight, and then this open work filigree beauty, it's a little bit curved like that. This is a size, I don't have the size written down. I have the grams, it's 3.69 grams. This measures a, that's a little bit curved. So hmm, I'd say a seven and a half on this one. Cause I remember I needed an eight and I can't wear a seven and a half. I'm like six and three quarters and an eight. So. This was a little bit in between. So I'm passing this one along to a beautiful filigree. And I will say 28 on that ring. Moving right along. This is an absolute stunner. It's a really old garnet ring. I'll test it again right now because it does look like a ruby, but it is a garnet. Yep, it's a garnet. It's a beautiful wine color stunner. I haven't really polished it up a lot, so you could clean it more, but it's it's just really cool. It's got like a, I don't know, a modernist design with the way the garnet's turned sideways. There's the band. This is 9.3 grams, and this is a six and a half. So you've got sterling and garnet, six and a half, and I will say 28 on that one. And one more. One more sterling ring. It is a beautiful filigree band. Oh, I really wish I could wear this one. It's so gorgeous. I've tried to wear it, but it's just one of those in-between sizes. It's a six and a half. So if you wear a six and a half, this would be great for you. And this ring is marked with this inside, the horseshoe or omega. I did try to um, research this. I know that's an important um, signature, but I just don't know who it is. Oh, it says maybe Shuby, S-H-U-B-E. Um, something about Dakota West. Yes, I don't know. 8.5 grams on this one. Okay, so that's that ring. Then I'll say 28 on that piece. So we've got a bunch of sterling rings tonight. And some Larimar. Let me get these out of the way. Keep everything together. I keep everything together in, you know, in separate bags and then all in one big bag. And I name it whatever that video is. So now you know why I need the name of the video and the timestamp. Because I'll go right to that bag of jewelry. It'll have all of our jewelry bags in it and I'll have these rings and that necklace and everything's all according to video makes it really easy for me to find those pieces now someone else I can't remember you were asking for brass earrings look at these they are incredible this is way over the top um, they have 12 karat gold wires and I say that because they test as 14 karat, but not super strong, but they don't go anywhere when I test them. So I believe these posts are gold. And then you've got your solid brass 
And then this is sterling silver. I tested this very blue to sterling. So just really cool earrings. Look at the back of the patina. I did clean them, but I didn't want to polish polish. So these are gorgeous. Um, whoever asked me for brass earrings, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting all the names, but I'm going to say uh, 42 on these with the gold wires and the sterling, and they are just stunning. So that's that one. Then I have this, oh my gosh, incredible abalone necklace. I think this is, um, t uh, what do you call that? Alpaca. There's no marking anywhere, but it does not test as sterling. That's the back. It's got a great chain, and look at the abalone, and probably mother of pearl. This is an oldie. I really had to do some cleaning on this because it's been around a while. It's a stunner. I'll put it on the neck and show you what it looks like. So just another piece that I wanted to offer to you. And then when I do my live sales, we'll be able to bid up the pieces or, or not, depending. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So any of you that like this, I do believe it's alpaca. I can't be exactly sure because it's not signed. But the metal is very nice, good quality. And I do think it's an oldie. Oh, you need to know how it measures. There is the clasp. I think the hook was probably replaced because this is a brass one. But nonetheless, I do believe there was a hook on it before as well because you've got that little ball bead at the end. So this is 16 inches, heavy, beautiful, incredible. And there's the back, and they're nice thick pieces. So this piece, I'm gonna say 65 on that. Nice old necklace. I have a few other treats in here. Oh, another pair of brass earrings. Are these so cute? They have brass and copper and then a filigree in the front. So whoever was asking me for brass, here's another little pair. I love that with the copper. And these little stones on the bottom, they look like, oh, what do you call that red stone? They are stone, we're testing right up on Miss Percy. Oh, I can't think of it, but you won't, you guys know what I'm talking about. So you have gemstone and brass and some copper on gold tone wires. And for these, I'll say 23. And I do see a little color right there. So I will get that off. I think when the metals rub together, it probably causes a little bit of, or things get trapped inside. So I will get that off. It's polishing up pretty nicely. If I can't, I'll let you know, but I'm sure it'll come off. Oh, it did already. So that's those cuties. I have so much jewelry. You guys have a huge bag on the floor next to me. So many things to sell. And I'm really looking forward to the live sales that'll be coming up when I move to my new place. And when I learn how to do them. So if you do live sales and you want to help me out, do send me an email or let's talk on the phone. I'd love to talk about it. These are just absolutely beautiful. They are signed Marvella, yes. So we have Marvella clip-ons encrusted with rhinestones and pearls. Beautiful clip-ons. And I'm sure a little bit of cleaning would be really sparkly. And those signed earrings, I will say 15 on those. I could keep going and going. There's so much stuff. This bracelet. Oh, okay. I want to be ready when I bring it out, and I'm not ready on that one. Maybe a couple of rings. I used to add the rings to the jewelry bags, but... Rings are, you know, everyone needs to be able to fit in the ring. So now I don't add them to the jewelry bags because if you got a bag and the ring didn't fit, it'd be a bummer. This is a Monet. Look at that thing. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so I'm going to do more of the rings really quick. 
gorgeous signed on the bottom right there inside. This is a size hmm, about a six and a half. Gold tone Monet ring, big chunky. I'll say 15 on that. And this is a croissant. I can't read my writing. It's called a croissant design. There is a little crystal inside. I don't know what that means about who the maker is. Where is that little crystal? Somewhere in there. But that's what it's called. It's a vintage ring. It measures about seven and three quarters. Chunky croissant. I'll get my tag out of the way. Beautiful ring. And I'll say 15 on that piece too. And then one last ring. Look at that brushed gold tone. You know how many sets I wanted to put this with. But again, I want you to be able to fit into it. This is from Avon. And great shape inside everywhere. Signed on the bottom. This measures... My little tags are awesome, but they get in my way. Exactly a six. So Avon brushed gold tone, size six ring. I haven't looked at this one for a while. It's got some probably the size as written inside. And I'll say 15 on that one too. So that should be it. I could go on and on. I am going to show this necklace because it looks like Larimar. If you go online and you just look at the natural Larimar stone, it looks exactly like this. Now I know people call this picture Jasper, and there were a lot of comments about it being picture Jasper, and some thought Larimar. I don't know which one it is, but again, if you look up Larimar, this is exactly what it looks like. So either way, it's beautiful, no matter what you call it. It's all sterling. Look at that bezel set on there. Beautiful chain that it's on. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I am ready to let this go. So stunning. This is what it looks like on the neck. I mean, if it's picture Jasper, would you be disappointed? It's beautiful, no matter what it is. And with the Larimar, I think it looks great. So I thought I'd bring that out and show you and make it available. I did pay up for this piece. This is a 16 inch chain. You could put it on other chains as well, but that's a nice one. And for this piece, I'm going to say 85. Okay, so that is all the things I have for tonight. And there'll be lots more tomorrow, the next day, and in the future. So I'm going to get my thumbnail ready, make a beautiful picture so you all click on it, and you know what I'm going to say. Don't forget to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com, and I'm going to need this sign this time. Video name, episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces showed, a brief description of the pieces, and the prices that I gave, okay? Thank you very much for that, and one more time. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. I had a great time making this video. I'm going to go right on and make a few more and post them this week as we go. So thank you. Click that bell, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun making it. I'd love to know what you think of the jewelry, and if you'd like to purchase any of the pieces, you know how to do so. Just send me that email with the four pieces of information, and I'll get right back to you, okay? So thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Okay, we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Come on, thumbs up. We'll see you at the Bobbles. Bye.